Okay. channel so today I'm here with a TBR pile for the reading rush readathon that's happening this week so Monday through Friday the 22nd to the 28th this is a week-long readathon that has been hosted every year by Ariel and Raylene um, I will link their channels down below but this year um, they've rebranded so it was formerly known as the book Tubeathon. now they have a fancy website where you can go and log in um, create a profile and then track all your reading for the readathon as well as um, they have badges so every time you complete a challenge um, you will get a badge on your profile which I think is really really cool um, so I will link my profile down below in case you want to watch well, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the books um, there are seven challenges so I did pick seven books which I thought would be good because even though I may not get to all seven challenges um, I'll have a variety of books to choose from throughout the week. So the first challenge is to read a book with purple on the cover. And as soon as I saw this was a challenge, I knew immediately which book I wanted to pick up, and that was Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. This is an adult romance novel um, that just came out this summer and has been getting a lot of buzz. It's a, it looks like a cute contemporary romance, but I heard that it's a little bit more steamy than the than the cover gives away. This is about a girl named Dorjette who is, uh, funnily enough, a clown for children's birthday parties. And she loves it, but she doesn't think people can take her seriously, obviously because of her job. So she's having trouble with her dating life and she decides to ask her older brother's best friend, Travis, to um, help her with that by pretending to date her. So as you can see, this book does have a fake dating trip, so I'm excited to see Georgia and Travis go from friends to lovers, apparently. Um, but yeah, so that's the first one. The next challenge is to read a book in the same spot. So for this challenge, I wanted to pick something obviously short, but I thought the best way to go would be with a graphic novel. Um, so I picked up um, Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me by... Mariko Tamaki and Rosemary Valera O'Connell. So this novel focuses around a young girl named Freddie, who, as you can tell by the title, whose girlfriend keeps breaking up with her. So um, I'm just going to read you this bit at the bottom because it seems to summarize it the best. Um, so this is a sweet and spirited tale of young love that asks us to consider what happens when we ditch the toxic relationships we crave to embrace the healthy ones. So this looks like a really nice, sweet, um, contemporary romance, perfect for the summer, I think. Um, and I think it'll be quick and easy for the readathon, so I should have no problems getting through um, this book and completing this challenge. But the third challenge is to read a book that you meant to read last year. So for this challenge, I went ahead and I picked up Normal People by Sally Rooney. Um, I've been meaning to read this because her previous novel conversations with friends I think that one was nominated for the women's prize for fiction and I'm pretty sure this one was nominated for the man booker maybe last year I can't remember but anyway um, I wanted to pick this one up because it is a literary fiction novel and I tend to be intimidated by literary fiction because they can tend to be really dense and the writing too flowery for me but I heard that this one was um, a really accessible novel. This book focuses on the two main characters, Connell and Marianne. Um, Marianne is a shy introvert whereas Connell is on the football team and is very popular and they end up falling in love but once they move to college it seems that their roles are kind of reversed. Where she is finding her footing in different social circles, Connell's having a hard time. Um, and then as Marianne kind of moves into more, how does it say, uh, she veers into self-destruction, he begins to search for meaning elsewhere. This is a coming of age romance novel that I'm really excited to get to. Um, the fourth reading challenge is to read an author's first book or debut novel. So for that I have Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. Again, another book that's been getting a lot of buzz and that was uh, released this summer. Um, it is about uh, America's first son and the Prince of Wales. And so in this story, the, the prince and the first son do not get along. They're rivals for whatever reason. And the paparazzi catches them in an altercation. So 
the public relations department um, comes up with an idea to kind of help bridge um, US UK relations they get they come up with an idea that um, these two will I guess basically become fake friends and so they set up this campaign for their Instagrams and they're taking pictures pretending to be friends and as they're doing this they end up falling in love which sounds really really sweet again I think this came out in June I, I can't remember but again this has been getting a lot of buzz and people are really enjoying it so um, I'm happy to put this on the pile again this is something that will be short quick and easy and I hope I enjoy it just as much as everyone else so now moving on to the fifth challenge is to read a book with a non-human main character so for this one I'm 100% cheating here uh, but I couldn't find anything that I was dying to read um, and there was one book that I just picked that I picked up that just came out that I was really dying to put on this pile. So I kind of made it fit. <laughs> um, and so that book is Wilder Girls by Rory Powers. This is a young adult horror thriller novel. It's about an all girls boarding school that has been quarantined because this infestation known as the Tox has killed all the teachers and is starting to infect the students. And when the main character, Hetty's friend, Bayette, goes missing, she decides to break quarantine in order to find her. And it says um, here, Hetty learns that there's more to their story, to their life at Raxter, than she could have ever thought true. So, I this sounds really good. I already saw, um, what's her name? Books and Lala. She already read this a couple of weeks ago and really enjoyed it. I'm excited to, to get to this. I think the cover is really cool and I've been anticipating this book all year. So um, it just came out on the 12th, I believe. So yay. Moving on to the sixth challenge. The sixth challenge is pick a book that has five or more words in the title. And so for that, I picked um, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by... Taylor Jenkins read and this book blew up last year on booktube no matter what genre of book that you liked to read um, everyone was picking it up and everyone was loving it so um, I'm really excited to finally get to it and so this book is about a um, old Hollywood actress who asks a journalist to come to her home and kind of write her life story and this journalist has no idea why this 1950s actress this famous 1950s actress has asked has picked her to write her life story um, but she goes and Evelyn Hugo tells her her story and everything just kind of um, unravels from there so you hear about all of her relationships what it was like in Hollywood um, it talks about um, people of color their experience in 1950s um, I think I even heard there was some themes about LGBT relationships so I'm excited to read this it looks like it's gonna be really good and I really don't think I'm gonna be disappointed just because of how many people really really love this book so I think this will be great for the readathon it's not too long but I heard that it was really really captivating so excited for this and then the last challenge that we have is to read a book to movie adaptation so I struggled with this challenge because I didn't know what I wanted to pick um, I wanted to pick something short, obviously, for the readathon. Um, something that was going to be fast-paced, obviously, really plot-driven. Um, but then I ended up picking a 582 book. <laughs> so that is After by Anna Todd. This is a new adult. This is a new adult romance novel, um, and the movie has just been released on Netflix recently or sometime this year anyway um but yeah and i haven't heard the best reviews about this book but anyway i'm gonna tell you what it's about this is about a young girl named tessa who's starting college and meets this boy named what's his name harden and he's like the epitome of a bad boy he treats her terribly but for some reason she's in love with him um as all new adult problematic books are um and she says, Tessa already has the perfect boyfriend, so why is she trying so hard to overcome her own hurt pride and Harjun's prejudice about nice girls like her? So, I'm excited to read this. This looks like a trashy romance novel that I'm just going to power through, um, and it's going to be full of drama and a lot of fun, and then after I can watch the Netflix series. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. So these are all 
the seven books that I'm hoping to get to this week. Um, I don't know if it's possible, but I'll see what I can pull through. I have a really good mix, I think. I've got some um, adult fiction, I got some literary fiction, graphic novels, adult romance, YA, so um, I'll have a variety to pick from this week. Um, and I'll see what I can actually get through. I don't even know which one I'm the most excited for. I'm excited for all of them. I know a lot of people are daily vlogging and I'm really excited to see those. More than likely I won't be doing that myself just because it's a lot of work um, and I don't think I have the energy to pull something like that off. But um, I will be watching everyone's daily vlogs. So that is my TBR um, and I can't wait to see everyone's videos for the readathon and see how everyone's getting along. Um, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe, and I will leave links to everything down below. Um, bye!